because I forgot to put in the advanced passenger information. Could well be turned away right now, couldn't it? That sort of important thing requires a reminder, in my opinion. Like. Big mistake. Bonjour. We are officially back on the road and in the van. We spent the last couple of weeks staying at my parents' house over Christmas. So last night was our first night back in the van. We all slept so soundly. Kids were back in the pop top. Um, we haven't had to been able to have the pop top up because it's been so cold, but even in the UK right now, it's so mild. Um, so yeah, today we are trying to finish off some last minute jobs because we've left a few things until the last minute the fridge still needs fixing we have a panel of wood that needs going up we have some carpeting that needs finishing as well so we're just trying to get those finished and ready because our ferry is tomorrow right i'm just hearing richard saying that this fridge is going to be an easy fix so <laughs> famous last word <laughs> famous last word yeah basically the fridge is on it's working in terms of that there's power to it but there's no um okay, actual so cold i think what fridge. i've done looking at i think i've put the wires in the wrong bit right so what we're going to do is we just take off these uh terminals here oh gosh and charlie stop licking the fridge he's <laughs> just giving it a clean isn't it uh we're going to take off Someone these terminals to. um and we will replace them we will replace them with some other ones and you think that's it? Well, hopefully. Hopefully it is. Right, we'll see. We've been without a fridge for about four weeks, I think. Um, luckily it's been really cold, so everything has just stayed cold when we bought it and put it in the fridge. Obviously we haven't been able to use the, the freezer compartment, but that's been fine. But where we're going now, we really need to have a cold fridge. Okay. We do is make sure they don't touch. Why is there no power? Okay, I can get power by plugging them into those, but why isn't there power coming into those? Because look, you've got plus minus, that should go DC DC 12 volt box, and then you've got this red. Oh, what even? What even is this? I actually don't know what's going on with it because I can I can plug them in and get power, but for some reason, yeah. See that says plus red. Have you tried shaking it? No, but the interesting thing is, is I don't even have power now. Where when I plug them into. <laughs> them into there then I do actually get power and so you've made it worse or are you just trying something different no it's not because I'm making it worse there's Ted there's um, there's different areas where the plugs can go in but it says there black red which is correct <laughs> This is a happy dance. Okay. Can you hear that? That is wicked. Okay, so the good thing is I have fixed the fridge. Is there the, bad news? There's no bad news. Right, okay. The realise it didn't the, the reason it didn't work is what's up buddy? You on your scooter? We can get your scooter soon, but guess what? Daddy has fixed the fridge. Can I get a high five? Oh. Well done, Daddy. Yeah, but do you know what happened? What did Daddy do wrong? What I did is... <laughs> okay, so basically what happened is we had a blocked waste tank, which was our sink, which is here, which the pipe goes underneath. So I pulled the fridge out, to unblock it, and all the wires to the back of the fridge all popped out. All of know? them. 
and so I had to basically put them all back together and I just didn't put the wires right in the correct order did I is that all it was and that's all it was so we've been like a month without a fridge we've been a month without a fridge because I put the wires in the wrong place yeah, yeah. but it's not daddy's fault is it we're not happening that them or not. No? Okay. Just say naughty daddy. Naughty daddy. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fridge finally fixed. So Richard is out of the doghouse. The slats above Teddy's bed are back up, but there's just one job left to do. I'm going to go and take the kids to the play park now and Richard's going to try and get the third job done which is the last of the carpeting of the van. We've still got some like uh, silver foil bit showing so we just want to get that covered up finally. So it's just up here so you can see, you can still see the silver bit underneath. Nice and shiny at the back there but we want that all covered up with carpet. Going to be easy babe? Huh? Easy job? No. No? Fiddly? Fiddly, annoying. Okay. Yeah. Right. Best get out of your hair then. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. It's not ideal doing it now. You sort of want to get it in a yard, get all this stuff off the back. Um, yeah, it's actually going to be a real pain in the bum. I don't really want to do it. But I... So Rick did manage to finish the carpeting, which was the final job on our list there is actually a tiny tiny bit that's left unfinished it started to rain so back doors had to be closed and, and we haven't finished it from there but it's looking so much better you might just be able to see it up there um no more bare sort of foil on show um so yeah really pleased with that but we have a new problem and that is the fact that we have run out of water and we have had to move our van onto a different pitch which is sort of outside of the gates the the barriers for the campsite so that we can get our ferry tomorrow morning and obviously the water point is on the other side of those barriers so it looks like we are going to be going into france with an empty water tank so let's hope that our first stop has water I'm not sure it does so we might have to change some plans good morning jack <laughs> Are you ready to go to France? To yeah. Oh. Jack, ready to go to France? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Piper? That's exciting. Yeah. That's very exciting. <laughs> Shall we get you down? <laughs> Just uh, odorising my uh, Your shoes. shoes. <laughs> nice. nice. Don't want the poor French smelling my feet. We do not. We do not. And there's oh, our teddy bears awake too. Hello, Ted. Good morning. Good morning. Can you remember where we're going today? Go on the boat to France. That's right. We're two away and I'm nervous because I forgot to put in the advanced passenger information. It is a legal requirement that ferry companies must submit advanced passenger information to the relevant government authorities and failure to submit this information could result in you not being able to travel. We rushed to submit it this morning but noticed on our email that it was supposed to be done at least 24 hours before we depart. Which means we could well be turned away right now couldn't it? Could be. Yeah. I hope big not. mistake. Big mistake. But they didn't send me a reminder email, which yes, I think. They I think did. No, yes. they didn't. No, they didn't send a reminder. They sent an email, which you didn't check. Yeah, which I didn't check. But that sort of important thing requires a reminder, in my opinion. Well, I don't know. I you think think you get a reminder for everything. Would disagree. Bonjour. Just the passports. Here we go. <laughs> right, now we need to find out where we're going. We're in. <laughs> where right. are we going? Where are you going? <laughs> Follow this dude. <laughs> oh, he's, he's just he's totally oblivious. 
No, oh, maybe he's not going to help you. you. you go. No, you've got to lead the way. Follow the log. Well, don't follow the lorry, actually. Just go ahead. Look, there's some signs up ahead. Hello. You're right. We are here. We can see the boat. Oh, wait, there's a boat going. Oh. Oh, so that's not even our boat. That nah, we're too early. We are far too early. Oh, well. I thought that was our boat there. I, I did as well. <laughs> it's just disappearing off into the distance. <laughs> There's very little people here though, so yeah, I think we are very early. Quiet. Very quiet. Very quiet out here. Not many in the queue. And there's Teddy Boy. Say hi! Hey, can you just put his water on? Crunch time. Crunch time. How yeah. are you feeling? You don't like this bit, do you? I no, I don't. No, <laughs> I always get this feeling of like, have we put in the dimensions properly? <laughs> yeah. Am I in the right lane? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and all this sort of stuff. But it's all fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. I'm not as nervous, but I think it's because we'll I'm not there. driving. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to Gorgeous. actually do the crossing. It's just very windy, so it might be a little bit rocky. But test us out. Test us out. But there we go. A little bit anxious. Seasick. But we'll see. We'll get on. We'll get on. Oh my gosh. Water looks choppy. That was nice in the harbour. <laughs> Okay, how is it? Well, me. Yeah, I'm trying to stay upright. It's quite difficult, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> 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 is it windy? It's very windy. Yes, I got the world in my head. Yeah, look at that. Look at you, look. Right, we are our coats on and get down back to our van. Let's go. Ready, boys? To remember to stay right stay right right is right that's it right that's is we right to remember we're just waiting for our gates to open this is the anxious bit yeah well you got to do everything no right. do you know what it is it's little things like hope my engine starts <laughs> <laughs> you know it's little things like that that's the pressure and we ride the front today all those little things which are actually going to probably work just fine yeah but you're now thinking about every yeah. scenario that absolutely could go wrong. absolutely it'll be fine yeah, yeah. that'll be good but we'll be on the motorway in no time at all. Here he goes. Right, here we go. France. 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 We're in France. 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 Yay. Bonjour. Bonjour. Now. Teddy, say bonjour. Thank you. On the road. On the road, it feels good. France. Yeah. It is feeling Didn't have good. to go through customs or anything because that was all done on UK side, so we've just driven straight, straight out. Straight basically. off the boat. On the roads. Yeah, it's good. It's Remembering good. to keep right. Remembering to keep right. Wait there, wait there. I need to think about where I'm going here. Oh, wait, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We have got a sat nav on, so we shouldn't get lost. We shouldn't. Be. A good old trusted co-pilot. Co-pilot, yeah. A few people have asked us what we used, and Copilot is it's the app to get if you're uh, well, out I in think Europe. It's all right, isn't it? It's not too it's bad. It's really good. You can put all of your vehicle dimensions in and stuff, so with a bigger vehicle, make sure you don't get stuck down any tight roads or roads with low bridges or that sort of thing. But yeah, here we are. Here we are, the Frosty. 
Right, so we left the UK looking for better weather and we're barely like half an hour into France and it's raining. Joyful! Yes. Typical isn't it? But we won't be here for very long because we are actually going to be trying to make our way down to Spain as quickly as possible. So we are thinking that we're going to be here, what, four or five days maybe? Not even that, I think. So. Three days, three nights in Spain, um, three nights in France. Three nights in France maybe, and then, and then yeah, Walk down to Spain, Spain uh, for the warmer weather. Fingers we crossed hope. anyway. <laughs> yeah. we hope. To a foreign country, I expected it to be warm. <laughs> chilly out there. It is. I'm still putting the security lock on. No. Oh, that's good. Just in case. There we go. So we've just arrived. We were looking for a Lidl en route to our overnight parker, but we found an Audi, so that's fine. So we're now just going to go and do our shop. We did stock up on like. Oh dear. You okay. We did stock up on all our pantry stuff, so sort of all our tins and cupboard stuff, but you can't take fresh produce, fruit and veg or meat over from the UK into the EU now. Um, so we're just gonna go and stock up on all our fresh, healthy bits. Did you like that pizza? No. What did you think of it? No. No. Look at the face, Mum. Look. That. He's just had his first taste of French food and oh. spat it all out. He spat it out everywhere. <laughs> Daddy, look at me. Not a fan. I don't look half up. Yeah. This is where we're hoping to spend the night. Yeah, so we are so. hoping it's decent enough. Right. Right, so. It's quite tight actually, isn't it? It is actually, yeah. I think you're only allowed to park here. We're in France! That's us just arrived at our first park up in France. We've driven a couple of hours south today, not too far though. We put the kettle on and I'm just about to make a cup of tea for everyone, even the kids, because they've been and bugging me. us. You're desperate, parched. I'm desperate for a tea. I need a Yorkshire tea. And you need to tell me where we are, because I haven't got a clue where we are, but you know. Yeah. Uh, so we're in Normandy. Um, we haven't driven far, as Kira said, maybe just, uh, what, three hours today? I think. Um, Three hours in so total, we're just yeah. south of a town called El Bouf uh, in a little village called Saint Germain de Pasqueur, um, which is lovely and quaint by the looks of it. There's it sort is. of nice wood clad buildings, uh, not clad buildings, what are they called? Um, timber. Timber, timber buildings. clad, yeah, timber buildings, which are all very yeah. nice. I've just seen some people riding horses up on the hill out yeah. there as well, and there's still some pretty Christmas lights, you might be able to see. Um, it's not, well, this, this park up has some really good reviews on the apps, but it doesn't actually say that it is officially sort of a motorhome air, does it? So um, we think it's fine. It's got loads of good reviews. People yeah, no, use it's on, it, um, so. I've checked a couple of the apps and it's on both with good reviews. So it's just gonna be quiet. It's winter, it's January. Quiet, and it's colder. It's colder than when we left, I think, when we left the UK this morning. It is, but what's interesting is the little hedge here. Some of the uh, leaves are already flushing. Must have had a bit of warmth. Right, be in order to finish these cups of tea. Absolutely. Off, so. Right, best get cracking. So as we settle in to enjoy our first night in France, you go and click that like button and subscribe to our channel. 
Remember, it's completely free for you, but goes a long way for us. And we'll catch you next week as we start making our way down south to Spain in search of some winter sun. And remember, don't forget to submit your advance passenger information if you're heading out yourself. See you soon.